Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have these four clips. These each have audio attached to the clip. You can tell this by the markers here. And I want to highlight all of these clips in the project media panel, as well as sort of like a master or source audio. This is the full high quality audio track. And I'm going to right click on all these and create multicam source sequence. This will open up this panel. We can name our sequence whatever we want. And the next thing we can do is synchronize this in some way because all of these clips are going to be playing simultaneously or have be at different portions of the audio. So in this example, you can imagine that there is the audio tracks that are coming from the microphones, but then also like whatever in-camera audio was captured. We can use those two audios to automatically sync together using Premiere Pro. So I'll click audio. It's going to base it on track channel one. You can also choose mix down if you want, and it'll also automatically make the sequence size whatever the clip size are if you didn't want to choose one of these other presets. So I'll leave it at that, and when I press OK, it'll create this new processed multicam sequence in the project media panel. So you could see right here is our multicam sequence. You could tell by this icon. It's a little bit different than just a standard clip. And if I right click on this and create a new sequence from this clip, you'll see it'll pop up in its own sequence and it'll be green. But within this is actually all four of the clips. And if I want to see that, I can actually go to my program window and click this button here, toggle multi-camera view or the shortcut shift and zero. That'll put them side by side. These are all four of the clips and then the current camera angle that's showing. If you don't see this button, you can just click the plus button here and drag it onto your little toolbar and then press it or again, shift and zero. So if you just click on these different camera angles, you can switch between angle and see the different angles. Also, if you drag out that multicam sequence, you could see exactly how everything got stacked on top of each other and synchronized. So if I play and listen through this interview, I can click on different segments of the interview. You see red is being recorded when I click. So I can just switch through as I'm playing, just using my mouse click and it will create those cuts. And this could be a much faster way for you to edit a final interview rather than stacking all of the, the different layers on top and manually cutting each time. This way you could listen to the audio when someone starts speaking, you could just click on them. It'll focus in and you can kind of listen through in the, that way and edit with multicam. Now, another way that you could create these sequences a little bit more by hand is let's say I have two clips and they're stacked on top of each other on the timeline. I could grab both the audios, right click and synchronize those clips. I can now see that I need to move this clip uh, two frames forward. Now the two clips are synchronized and I can grab both of these clips, right click and nest them. This will create a nested sequence. And then I can simply right click on this nested sequence, go to multi-camera and click enable. And now this nested sequence will act just like a multi-camera. And all I have to do then is use whatever the main or high quality audio track was. So whether I had the ones from the camera or I synchronized them to the higher quality one, then I could just either delete or mute all the other camera pieces. Those were just for synchronization. Keep only the master high quality track and then play through whatever I want and do the same sort of multicam editing that I just showed you. If you want to redo over a part, you can just go back over, press play again, and then redo your mouse clicks and it will re-record the cuts. Also in the settings menu, you can enable overlays. If you ever go to overlay settings as well, you can enable the overlays during playback. Now this can get very laggy depending on your clips and the longer the sequence is. One tip I can try to give you is to maybe lower the preview quality to 1 8th or 1 16th. Or also if you right click on your program window, you can turn off the show multi-camera preview so that instead of seeing the final result, you just see the, the four clips or however many source clips you had. And this way there's less stuff for you to preview. And if you press play now, I can one, I can see the one, two, three, and four. 
And not only can I record new cuts by clicking, I can also use the number keys on my keyboard, one, two, three, and four, to switch using my fingers in that way with the number keys. You also still have the capability to go into the timeline and, and edit cut points manually like this, or just use your standard editing tools and laying clips on top of each other. But in this way, you can create cuts more visually with this multi-camera editing sequence and make them all line up to the source audio. So this has been an introduction to editing using multi-cam sequences. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out a lot more tutorials in the playlist on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. You can subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.